In this video, we will be creating catapults. Catapults are a type of lever. Levers have a beam on a tipping point or fulcrum. When you apply a force to one side, the load on the other side is moved. If the fulcrum is exactly in the middle, there's no mechanical advantage. It requires the same force to push down on one side as it is to lift up on the other. However, when the fulcrum is not in the middle, you can get a mechanical advantage. Why? Well, if you place the fulcrum closer to the load, you can reduce the amount of force required to lift the load. Like always, there's a trade-off, right? You'll have to apply the force over a much greater distance. Mm -hmm. This is how levers are most commonly used. Like a crowbar, for example. It allows us to like lift heavy objects or move things which we simply couldn't lift without the mechanical advantage provided by the lever. However, the amount that we're moving the item is quite small. A catapult, on the other hand, has the opposite arrangement. The fulcrum is placed closer to where you apply the force. Positioning the lever like this means that a large force will be required, but the force is required over only a short distance while the load moves over a great distance. If you can apply that large force quickly, then the load will move over a large distance rapidly. In a catapult, the load is moved quickly but only until the catapult lever reaches its highest point. Then the lever stops moving. The projectile that has been loaded onto the cat catapult, it isn't secured to anything, so it flies off through the air. And that is how you fire a catapult. How can we generate the large force necessary to operate a catapult? Well, there are several ways, including tension, torsion, and gravity. In this video, we will build two different types of catapults, one that uses gravity, it's called a counterweight trebuchet, and one that uses a motor to supply the force. For the counterweight trebuchet, a heavy weight is hoisted up and held there until you're ready to fire the catapult. Then the weight is released and gravity pulls it back down. The mass in the counterweight determines how heavy a load can be fired. Here is an example of a counterweight trebuchet using the Lego We Do 2.0 core set. The heaviest part in the set is the smart hub, so it is used as the counterweight. The fulcrum is the axle located right next to the smart hub. Then there's a very long beam made of lime green Technic bricks. On the end, you either tie a piece of string or you can attach a round one by one black plate and then add the chain piece. Finally, you loosely attach a small projectile to either the chain or the string. To ready the catapult, you hold down on the beam, which raises the counterweight into the air. When you let go, gravity pulls the counterweight back down and at the same time raises the beam into the air, causing the projectile to go flying. Our second catapult uses a motor to apply the force. However, it shares many other characteristics with the counterweight trebuchet. An axle near the motor acts as the fulcrum. It also has a long beam and a place to loosely hold a projectile. The lever is lowered and the projectile is readied. Then the motor rapidly spins, causing the beam to rise quickly. When the beam abruptly stops, projectile is flung into the air. Feel free to test either or both catapult mechanisms. You can change the length of the beam, the location of the fulcrum, the release point, for the counterweight trebuchet, you can also adjust the mass and or placement of the counterweight. While for the motorized catapult, you can adjust the power to the motor. 
Try to see how far you can send a projectile or how high. Possibly set up a scene with Lego minifigures and try to attack them with your catapult. Alternatively, you can try to improve the accuracy and precision of the catapult. That's what I've chosen to do here. I've used the concepts of the motorized catapult to make a basketball game. The ball is shot towards the hoop by a catapult. The goal is to get the ball into the basketball hoop by adjusting the parameters described earlier. Trust me, this isn't easy. Just watch. But it can be done. Have fun building these catapults and testing them. Good luck.